check mic. And good morning everyone. Happy Tuesday. PSE was down yesterday, pero yung mga ibang mga blue chips umaangat na eh kasi sobrang baba na. So yeah. I think we've hit the bottom uh, already. Um I've see I'm seeing good price action sa mga blue chips natin. Yung, yung iba bumabagsak, but not all, so that's good. Um let me just double check everything in. Yeah, good morning. Good morning everyone. Good morning Laika. Yeah. Today we're going to be talking about how to know the best stock market strategy for for you. Um the overall approach na para sa inyo dapat. Kasi yung problema in the stock market is that um ang daming taong pumapasok, especially newbies, yung mga kakapasok lang and then they just do things na hindi nila alam ano dapat ang pala ang strategy na para sa kanila. So that's what we're going to be discussing now. Um but Uh, I'm gonna read the greetings first. So if you just watch this video right now, this re- uh, the video is recorded live. Um, so please, uh, if you're watching the replay, just move the video to around 25 minutes. That is when the discussion will start, right? So right now, I'm gonna be reading the comments of everyone. And um, Joy Ligada, she's si number one ngayon. Uh, she's si nakauna, right? Let me just, ano, let me just... Um, clear everything. Jolly Gareth, good morning, Sir Lloyd in Laika. Thank you. Arman Tanglao, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Yes, good morning. Then Renulfo first, that's my buntag coach. Rodrigo Carlos, good morning. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. IRC, STI. Uy, si IRC gumalaw na kahapon, di ba? STI and GFC, pag-usapan natin yung mga yan. Right. Si RIS, IRC, sabi ko naman dati pa yan, it's, it's a buy. Inihintay lang yung news niya. So, somehow... People are bullish in it. They're just uh, making sure. They just want to make sure that they get in at the right company, right? My good morning, Sir Lloyd from Mona Magna. Good morning, Rex Hardinera. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. God bless to po, to you and your family. To you too, Rex. Thank you so much. And to everyone, champa, di ba? Rodrigo Carlos, Sir FDC. Is that FDC or is that IDC? Um, asan ako? Uh, Rodrigo Cas Rain Jo. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. May tanong lang about sa dividends pag in between ng record date and payment date at ibinenta ko yung stocks. May matatanggap po ba ako ng dividends? Um, as long as you hold it on ano on ang problema na kalito yan eh, yung record date ka ex date. Um, the thing is to make sure that you get the ano you get the dividends. You have to hold it until ex date, right? For example, ngayon, October 2, ang ex-date. Dapat hawak mo yung stocks until today. Right? And then, today, pwede mo na ibenta. Right? When the market starts, pwede mo na ibenta yan. So, you hold, you, basically, it's on the record date. Right? Hawak mo yung stocks na yan. And then, after that, if mabenta mo na yung stocks on ex-date, yung mga nakabili on ex-date, hindi na, hindi sila makakatanggap ng dividends. You may hawak lang ng stocks before the ex-date. Right? Until until the ex date, yun yung importante when it comes to dividends. We'll talk about yun yung pinag-aano ko kanina eh. Um, yun yung pinag-aaralan ko kanina na i-discuss natin yun eh. Dividend strategy and the dividends. So, kind of complicated. So, hindi ko na paghandaan. I was, I was trying to make the slide pero kulang ng oras. So, as a bonus na lang, pambawi ko sa inyo kasi hindi ko natapos. Um, I'm gonna share to you my lesson, lesson number one sa workshop today which is how to know the best stock market strategy for you. Right, so we'll we'll talk about that in a while, and some again, some na kakapasok lang. Um, uh, if you wanna, if you're watching the replay, just move the videos forward to 25 minutes para maka makapunta kayo sa discussion right away. Um, please share the video. Inihingi ko sa inyo. This is this topic is very important, right? Um, majority of my students, eto yung turo ko talaga. This is my lesson number one. Napaka-importante nito. Um, ginawa ko ng bonus sa inyo. But so, expect more things to learn on the workshop if you wanna join. But this is lesson number one. Um, profiling ang tawag ko dito, right? Um, please share this video. Uh, tawag dyan? Please share this video kasi napaka-importante nito especially to for newbies, right? Um, Tony Tugade, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. Mark Cortez, good morning Sir Lloyd and to your family. Any idea on why Wilcon CHP prices climbed up the last minute of trading yesterday? No, not really sure why they climbed up but si Wilcon, nakita ko na yan eh. You can always see the price action, right? I've been looking at Wilcon. Um, I think nasali ko nga yan sa ano kay. Um, nasali ko nga yan sa recommendations. Look at that. Wilcon showed us a 
uh, what they call this, a price action na nag-stabilize siya. So, this is what you basically look at in trading. Right? Um, stabilization and then forming a support. You have two confirmations right there before it really went up high. So, this is what you should be looking for. Number one, again, fundamentals. Wilcon has fundamentals. Number two is if it's cheap, it's okay. It's kind of cheap right now compared to its re, uh, to its peak, di ba? Um, so it's okay, and then yon. Um, this is for bottom fishing, di ba? So yes, you have that stabilization right there. You have a support, good price action. That is your entry point. Those are signals to enter, di ba? And then before you wanna get in, right? So um, yun yun dapat It's the pr the problem really in trading is that you can't see everything. So if makita mo ito and if you like the company, pasukin mo. If not, then malas natin hindi natin na pasok yan, di ba? So but it it's okay. We don't catch it all. But we make sure we uh, we we tend to miss some and then most nga, di ba? Kasi konti lang naman hawak natin eh. But we make sure we don't miss all of them, di ba? So, ganyan yan. Um, so, we'll call on CHP. Not really sure bakit umakyat. Just price action. I can, I can check it on, I can blame it on price action. Um, CHP, uh, tignan natin yan mamaya. Right, Tony Tugade, yun. Uh, ho Hops, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Before anything else, thank you. Ano po impact ng latest news kay PNT, PTNT sa MRC stock? Anong news yun, Hops? Ang ibig mo sabihin with PTNT, yung utang nila? Was that their utang or yung, yung babayaran nila? Um, I think yung babayaran nila, di ba? Um, yeah, that's good. That's good for not really sure about MRC. Again, guys, MRC, I know I've been recommending MRC, but that is speculative, Okay. MRC is speculative, PTNT even is speculative. Kahit na lumabas yan si PTNT, speculative yung stock niya. Hindi pa nga natin alam kung, uh, kung tawag niyan, kung sila mapipili, di ba? Converge ICT has a very st is a very strong competitor sa third telco. So, we can't really tell, you know. So, P, uh, make sure um, you don't put large amounts in it because you're gambling your money away, right? So, yeah, um, yung... News ni PTNT, I, I think ang gusto mo, ibig mo sabihin, Haps, is babayaran na nila yung utang nila. Yeah, that will be very good for PTNT. And especially, so, al alam naman natin may hila si M uh, M MRC. Eh, diba? So yeah, I think that will be very good for MRC. Roger Aguilar, good morning, sir. From Singapore, JFC, BDO, and Tel. Uy, lakas ng galaw ni, ano, um, ni Tel kahapon na. So, yan. Let's talk about Tel also. At, um, Ratchet, good morning, coach. So, ano yun? Yan. Martha Newby, good morning, idol. Ano pong masasabi nyo sa galaw ni Vita? Worth buying po ba? Habang mababa. Let's talk about that. Yeah, Vita has been very um, stable lately. Um, Haps, pwede ba mag-add more kay Vita? We'll talk about that. Justin Salvador, good morning, Sir Lloyd from Cebu here. Oy, silingan. Your pagrita ko sa wife ko na si Joy. Thanks. Hello, Joy. Um, wife ni Justin Salvador. Hey, good morning sa inyo and to your family. Austin Camacho, good morning Sir Lloyd, TBGI, MPI, and FGEN. Let's write that down, TBGI, F, si FGEN ba yun? MPI and FGEN, yun. MPI, FGEN, yan. So, let's talk about that, you know, uh, so hopefully may oras pa tayo para madaanan natin sila. Christian Joseph Mikwa, good morning Sir Lloyd, good morning din. Ian Paul, good morning Sir Lloyd. ISM po, thanks, yan, sure. Um, Talk about ISM. Yeah, very important. ISM. Tinanggal ko muna sa lick pick ko si ISM kasi pababa pa eh. But we're, this is the dip we're looking for. Um, let's talk about ISM in a while. Uh, Gilbert Veles. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Anyari kay ISM sa clap. Uh, hold pa po ba? It's up to you. Um, ang ginawa ko kasi is nag-test buy lang ako kay ISM. Test buy so that para pag bumaba man siya, meron pa akong pera to average down because I believe in the fundamentals of ISM. Ganda, they're at a very strategic position as of the moment. Kung bumaba man, then that's good so I can buy more at the bottom pag bumaba man siya. Right. For me, that's for me. But we'll talk about that in a while. Justin Salvador, IDC Sir Lloyd pala, reversal na, strong 5 support. Yes, um, I've been recommending that lately and we are uh, basing on that price action and i'm still recommending idc today alison c good morning sir good morning Hovian. cristobal good morning sir from dabao max sir okay now let's talk let's check out mac late uh um tingnan natin si mac mamaya all right um stv trader good morning sir now mrc atn and ltg please now mrc now 
MRC. Ayan, nandiyan naman si MRC sa lista lagi. Um, ATN. Ayan, tinanggal ko muna si ATN kasi medyo mataas na eh. LTG. Right? But remember, I recommended ATN before it flew up. So, good job sa mga pumasok. Enjoy your earnings. Uh, please, thank you. You're welcome. Reggie Mon Averion. Good morning, sir. Sana magkaroon kayo ng trading video kung paano kayo nag entry and exit. Actually, meron ako nyan sa workshop ko. <laughs> so, if you wanna join the workshop, it will be very helpful for you guys. Everything you need to do is execution. That's the execution part. That's one of the uh, one of the vital parts of the workshop. Speaking of the workshop, yes, it will. Uh, if you if you wanna help the channel in return, there's a way to help the channel. Na uh, you can invest in yourself also. I always tell this to everyone: invest in the knowledge. Wag yung ano. Yes, may nakukuha naman kayo ng, uh, and may nakukuha kayo information. You're, kahit na libre yung mga yan, nasa internet, yung mga YouTube videos, yes, you're still investing your time, di ba? Not just your time, you have to spend money also in investing in yourself. Kaysa naman sa mapunta na lang sa losses, yung pera ninyo dyan, i-invest nyo na lang on a workshop. And good news guys, my workshop is, I think, not, if not the cheapest out there, right? And you can see the testimonials of the students. Makikita niyo naman sa uh, page ko yan how the uh, how the students responded, how it helped their trading, and it's it's a very good investment. Right? Wag nyo nang babaratin, please. <laughs> right? But anyways, I'm still giving you out um, bits and pieces. And isang ayon isa sa mga importante na lessons ko, which is my lesson number one. Ishi share ko naman sa inyo yan ngayon. So yeah, um, yung others, yung gusto niyo mga exit and entry. You can join the workshop, right? I invite you to join the workshop. It will be a very helpful workshop for you, I tell you. Right? Um, asa na ako? Christian Joseph Miko. Ay, um, tapusin ko muna yung workshop. Um, meron akong workshop dito next week. Right? I mean, no, not, not next week. This weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday, 9 in the morning. Right? 9 in the morning, if you're interested to join, send me a message. October 14. Yeah, that will, um, yung workshop ko ngayon next week, that will be most probably the last workshop muna for October so please join it um, October 14 I'll be in Manila I mean Bacolod for the workshop um, live workshop ako mismo mag uh, ano, magkaharap sa inyo also on October 20 I'll be in Manila um, see you there I hope hopefully nakapag register na kayo sa workshop sa Manila right that will be a very good workshop I'll be there personally to teach you yan yung mga gusto ninyo na paano mag entry and exit yes I'll be teaching that in the workshop right um siguro the next workshop maybe next week pa niyan next week next week and pa nang after ng October 20 so hindi ko pa na pagplanuhan but yeah I I think I'm going to have only two online workshops this October so wag nyo, don't miss the workshop this weekend if ano kasi matagal-tagal pa ang susunod right Christian Joseph JFC Sir Lloyd let's, let's talk about that Raymar Mariano good morning Sir Lloyd Uni Nani good morning Sir IDC or NPHA yan IDC or NPHA nasa lista na yung mga yan DL Taide good morning Sir Lloyd Sir yung bout po sa workshop sa Saturday and Sunday nag PM ako sa um hindi ko pa nasasagot yung mga PM but I'm going to be send uh, I'm going to be responding to everyone after this ano nag prepare kasi ako ng ano kanina eh, ng lessons kanina eh, so hindi ko nasagot yung mga messages Emmanuel Lumain Good morning Master Lloyd good morning thank you um Genesis Suriaga MRC go, sir good morning good morning uh ano natin yung MRC and uh, pag-usapan natin mamaya nasa lista naman yan lagi eh. just buy on the dips lang lagi sinasabi ko kay MRC pag bumaba yan then just buy right um but don't put big money in it cuz it's speculative mamaya ka na, mamaya na kayo magdadagdag if uptrend na right um Genesis Suriaga uh, Emmanuel Lumain, watching from Singapore. Good morning sa mga kapatid natin nasa Singapore. Mabuhay po kayo. Um, Honey Kabigting, good morning coach. And Laika, good morning. Thank you. Vulcan Food food and IRC. Vulcan. Yan si Vulcan. Unstoppable uptrend. Vulcan Food. Um, and Vite. IRC, yan si IRC. Kellen's Dagger, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. Insights po ng galawan ng OPM. Kikita kami dyan, di ba? O, oh, maghintay pa ng weeks or months. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll talk about this. I've been discussing this in my previous videos. Dito sa bearish market nito. meron kayong cash cow. If you can allot around 30k to 50k uh, sa uh, para sa mga sure na galaw. Ang technique sa OPM 
and OPMB and OV yung 1130 lang 0110 lang ang galaw lagi right so yes you just um kasi ang ang problema niyan napakalaki ng pilahan right you can set GTC sa 110 right GTC niyo lang yan mga et, ilang weeks kayo before makapasok right hopefully pag nakapasok kayo bebenta niyo na naman sa 130 or 140 if you want di ba So, yun lang ang galawan ng OPM and OPM beats. Cash cow. Pag gumalaw yan ng isang beses, 8% ka agad. Then, you gain 8%. Then, yan you exit right away. And then, mag-GTC na naman kayo ng buy. And then, pag nakapasa kayo, GTC na naman ng sell. Ganyan. So, you have you can allot money in there. Right? There is money to be made in OPM, OPM B. Right? Um, Asa na ako? Nico. J. Degway, question sir, in your experience sir, does RSI and MACD is a good indicator? Si MACD, medyo delayed si MACD eh. So, I don't use MACD that much. I'm kind of aggressive. MACD is good for conservative traders na inintay talaga yung mga convergence before they really wanna get in. Ako, I'm kind of an aggressive, ano, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm uh, border, uh, border aggressive and, uh, what they call this, border aggressive and safe player And doon ako, hindi ako sobrang aggressive, hindi rin ako sobrang safe. So, that's why RSI is okay for me in price action. Right? So, yun yung mga kina, pina, in, ginagamit ko. Um, MACD, I don't use that much because it's very conservative, delayed siya. Um, so, yeah. Um, Ralph Laguno, good morning. May bulong po ba regarding ng mga microchip companies like Ion and etc.? Wala akong alam na bulong as of the moment for those. Baka meron ditong nagtatrabaho dyan sa mga company na yan. Send me a message para ako na bahala mag-disseminate sa mga tao if you want to share the blessings of information uh, as much as possible. Um, the virtue of um, the Billionaire's Club and Financial Freedom 101 is to share these kinds of informations for free. Hindi, hindi tayo magpapabayad for these kinds of mga bulong. As much as I can, eh, share ko naman yan. Right? Um, Junior, PSEI um, go down once inilabas na yung inflation rate for September. Um, we can't really tell but yeah, meron tayong ano eh, meron tayong may linabas na ano eh, parang scare news eh sa BSP na baka lumaki yung inflation baka dahil sa effect ng bagyong ompong right, malaking, malaki yung mga malaki yung damage ng bagyo eh so baka tumaas ulit yung inflation. So yeah, PSEI, well, I think matutulog pa si PSEI, but meron naman silang bold na prediction that PSEI will be closing 8,200. Uh, as of the moment, I'm not seeing that yet. Maybe that is they sent out that video, I mean that post, para to encourage investors. Yan. So, let's, we'll see. If you if you go for it, then just make sure you prepare your cut losses, di ba? Um, PSEI, still shaky for me. That's why I've been venturing out in foreign markets, right? Sayang naman kasi yung opportunity sa foreign markets. Yeah, speaking of foreign markets, mag-plug lang ako ng konti. This is to help everyone. Right, eToro, guys. Ayan. eToro, my port is public. You can see the profits. Uh, makikita nyo naman yan. Medyo negative yung dalawa, but that's okay. Kakaposisyon pa lang natin dyan. Hindi pa gumagalaw. Inintay lang natin yung galaw. These are bottom picks kasi. Ang ginawa ko dito kay Alibaba and BTC is... Um, Sinasalo ko sa bottom, right? So, hindi pa naman siya umakyat, but that's okay. Antayin lang natin pag umakyat yan, and then we're at a very good position. If not, I'm just gonna cut my losses. But speaking of eToro, guys, there's a way for me to help you, right? This will be in line also sa lesson natin today about what is the best approach for you, right? Pag-usapan natin yung mamaya, it's 8.40, but if you don't have the time or knowledge to really trade, I can do the trade for you. Right, open an eToro account. Opening an account is free. Just use the link on the video description. May eToro link jan. If you use the link, mm, please use the link because that will help me in return. Kay eToro, para ganahan naman si eToro na mag-sponsor pa sa akin kasi marami ako na dadalang clients sa kanila. Mm, yan. Um, so please use that link that will help me in return. And then once you create an account, look for El Bazaar. Right, search. Pede kaya mag-search dito ng El Bazaar. And then once you find my profile, for example, copy people. Um, nakita nyo na ka. For example, ako ito si Happy Apple. Ayan. So, just click on copy and then just allot how much you want to copy me. Um, the minimum is just $200. Right? Pwede kayo mag-test buy sa akin ng $200. And then, if you think it's growing, then that's good. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I can show you this. Uh, but let me just check. Right? 
view all joined. Alright, so you can see yung mga nag-join sa akin early on the, before when I started kumikita ni sila. Yung mga kakapasok lang since kakapasok lang natin ng mga positions, medyo negative pa sila pero malilit lang naman yung negative, right? I am managing the losses as much as I can para hindi rin kayo malugi, right? Yung mga kakapasok lang medyo negative pa sila, hindi pa kumikita. But it's this is for investing, right? Um, leave your money with me. Ako naman bahalang magpapatubo niyan. My goal for a month is 4% a month and now we are already the here are my stats makikita niyo naman stats ko for September we are already growing 4.16% so i'm already well on the ano the goal and then October nagsisimula pa ng October another 4% ang target ko for October so yun yung the goal ko to uh, para um tumubo yung pera ninyo right i can't promise you that minsan pangit naman talaga um these three months nagcopy trading lang ako diyan ko so kumokopya lang ako ibang tao but right now i'm um earning myself ako na kasi nagte-trade sayang kasi yung foreign market eh um for in foreign markets kasi uh you can what they call this you can earn even if you let's say uy babagsak si china dahil sa um dahil sa trade wars then you can short sell their index right pag sa short sell kumikita ka so there's unlimited uh, there's unlimited, what they call this, uh, tawag nito, ang dami mong opportunities, right, sa foreign markets. Plus, in, in, ano, in, what they call this, in, in eToro, you cannot, you can, you cannot just trade indexes, or ano, ang dami, ang dami mong pwede i-trade. You can go for crypto, so kung sa tingin nyo, lilipad ng crypto, then you go to crypto, ETFs, ito yung mga funds, stocks, kung gusto nyo ng stocks, indices, ito yung mga indexes ng ibang mga um, mga uh, mga countries, commodities, ito, this is very good, look at oil, grabe si oil, kaya ang mahal ng gasolina ngayon kasi because of oil, look at oil's chart, if if pumasok na tayo kay oil, grabe na ang akyat ni oil, right? um, sayang, hindi tayo pumasok kay oil, kaya ang mahal-mahal na, right? nag-breakout na naman ang presyo ni oil, so expect in the coming days, mamahal na naman ang, mag, ang gasolina, right? <laughs> Dahil dyan. So, yeah. Um, you can, there's many markets you can get into sa eToro. But if you don't have the time to trade, or you don't know how to trade, let me do the trade for you. Just copy my trades. Ako nang bahala sa inyo. Right? So, again, please create an eToro account using my link. Um, Asen Ochanko. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And like, how about ABG po? Let's talk about ABG. Sulat natin si ABG. May bad news kasi kay ABG eh. Alright, Kim An Anatalio. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. ATN and OR po. Yan, nasa lista naman yan. So, it's already 8.40. It's time to start the discussion. Again, the discussion is about how to know the best stock market uh, stock market strategy for you. Alright, let me just show my screen. Mm. So, this is my slideshow. Yan. So, I'll start with, especially sa newbies, uh, pasensya na. I know some of you already know this. This is very basic for you. But we have audiences na, ano kasi, newbies naman talaga kasi. So, please share the video. This is really intended for newbies, yung mga audience natin na newbies. Even those who have already started at hindi pa alam yung strategy na ginagawa nila. So, there are three, basically, uh, there are basically two types of people in the stock market. Um, so, two types of general approach, trading and investing, diba? There are two types of trading, which is swing trader or position trader, or the intraday trader, I consider them similar with um, momentum trader because they're riding the momentum within the day. So, momentum trading, right? Usually, intraday ang pinapa-strategy ko dyan. So, there are two types of people in stock market. One is the investor, and one is the, another one is the trader. Yan. So, alin ka dito? Um, I want to... I want to impose this lesson really because this is very important. Ito ang pinamaka, pinakamalaking reason why a a person or a trader is losing in the stock market because they don't know who they are. They don't know what approach are they going to use to get into the stock market. There's a saying that says, if you don't know who you are, uh, the stock market is a very expensive place to find out. And that's true. Um, remember, true story ito. Um, February, just this year, February, yun yung kasagsaga ng pag-akyat ni Now. Hindi makakalimutan ng marami ito. February 15, ang daming naging investor bigla kay Now. Right? Um, when Now was going up, 
ilang araw din yun eh. So, it took weeks for uh, um now to go up. Umabot ng 600%. Imagine 600%. Um, if you put in 1 million kay now, naging 6 million ang pera mo. Right? In just how many weeks, di ba? Um, for example, you put in 100,000 and then naging 600,000 ang pera mo. That's how much hot, ganun, ganun kainit si now noon. So, many got into the stock market. Uy, yung kaibigan ko, uy, pare, sumali ka stock market, kumikita ako kay now. I know some, I know people who did this. Right? They joined stock market because nakikita na yung kaibigan nila, kumikita kay now. Right? And then, nainggit sila. So, they opened an account, get got into now, kasi nga, magiging third telco daw si now. So, they got into now for the purpose of trading it. They trade. They wanted to trade it because they want instant money na mabilis. Diba? Alam naman natin mabilis ang pera sa trading if you're good at trading. So, they wanted to trade now. They got into now to trade it. And then, suddenly, bumagsak si now. They didn't know what to do. They, did, they weren't able to cut their losses. Um, for many reasons, makin hindi sila kapag cut loss. And bumagsak na bumagsak si now. Right? Bumagsak na at natalo na sila 10%. Ang sakit na eh. So, baka, baka, umakit ito, you know. Andiyan na yung mga baka na yan. And then, in the end, bumalik si Nao sa 7 pesos. Umabot pa nga ng 7, uh, yun, 7 pesos ba yun or 6 pesos? 7 pesos yata inabot ni Nao. Right, so, nung bumagsak na sa 7, ayun, investor na bigla. Because they don't know what their approach is in the market, the market told them who you are. Right? Ikaw, na pumasok kay Nao, hindi ka trader kay Nao, investor ka, the, and the market told them that they're in, an investor kay now in a very expensive manner. Ilan sa inyo ngayon, I hope wala sa inyo, but ang daming tao dyan, investor kay now, kasi naipit kay now. True story, right? So yeah, that's because they used the wrong strategy for them, right? Um, so, alam naman natin to is, I'm not gonna go very deep into these kinds of people. Investor, an investor means to buy and hold lang, just simply choose a company then let time pass by and just get your money afterwards when you think it has grown enough. It right? can take more than a year, three years, two years, five years, yeah, ang long term. This is our, these are the investors. A trader naman, ito yung mga short term na. Right? Someone who looks to buy stock when it is cheap and sells it whenever he thinks the price is just right to sell. It can be in a day or even up to a year as long as the stock is on, a, on, a, on an uptrend. Diba? Swing trader. Ito yung two types of traders. A swing trader or a position trader, I consider them the same. Kasi yung swing naman, that's the best position to get in the stock. And then sa swing, sa, sa taas na swing niya, yung pabagsak na, that's the best position to sell. Diba? So I, I consider them the same. Um, a trader who takes advantage of swings, it can range from a day. But it can be in a day, umakit ay isang stock. Right? And then suddenly, babagsak na yan the next day. Right? It can range from a day. Two months. Uh, intraday trader naman, a full-time trader who looks for opportunities to earn every day. Kung sino magbubullish, sasakyan niya para kumita siya. These are the momentum traders, similar to momentum traders. I consider, I consider them the same. It's an intraday strategy. right? Um, now, we go to profiling. right? Profiling is the process of knowing who you are in the market. And I'm gonna, I have a system to uh, to let you know what your profile is. right? To know who you are, there are two factors to consider. The first factor is time. The time factor. First is, if you have, uh, time factor meaning the amount of time you can give or provide to watching the market, yung pagbabantay ng market. So if you can watch the market once a day to mostly none, then that means you are just an investor according to your time factor, right? Now, if you can watch the market daily, mapapanood mo market most of the time, at least 40% of the trading day, but not the full 8 hours, yung kahit may trabaho ka at masisilip mo naman ang market and you can trade anytime in your, in, whenever you want, then your profile can, your time factor is telling you na pwede ka maging investor to a swing trader. Right? Now, if you can watch the market full time, then your, uh, your uh, what do you call this, your time factor is telling you na pwede kang swing trader to an intraday trader. Right? So, this is the time factor. But this is just the time factor, right? Hindi ko naman sinasabi, ah, meron pa tayong isang factor na importante. Hindi porket tambay ka at wala, wala, kang, uh, wala kang trabaho at mapapanood mo ang market agad, the full time, pwede ka na mag-interday trade or mag-swing trader. Uy, wala akong trabaho, mag-trader ako at mag-interday trade ako. Hindi ganyan, 
That's not it. There's a second factor that you need to consider. The second factor is your skill factor. This is your technical analysis and your execution. Right? Execution skills. Yung technical analysis na yan, makikita nyo naman ang daming technical analysis techniques tinuturo dyan sa internet. What I want, what I am teaching most in the, the workshop is the execution. May tinuturo din ako technical analysis, but um, yung technical analysis na ituturo ko dito is how to maximize your technical analysis, right? Um, ito yung second level of technical analysis, right? Next is also the execution. This is one of the heart of the, uh, this is the heart basically of the, the workshop if you want to join. Yung execution, paano pumasok at lumabas, how to, how to recover, how to minimize your loss, how to enter, basically everything you know, uh, you need to do as a trader, tuturo ko sa inyo yan dyan. Right now, um, this is the skill factor, your TA and execution. If you have none to basic TA uh, and execution, yung execution na alam mo lang is really just buy and sell, cut loss, average down, even yung ganun lang ang alam mo, then you are an investor according to your skill factor, right? Advanced, if you have advanced technical and all, uh, technical knowledge and execution, then that's when you can be a swing trader. What is advanced technical knowledge, right? Alam mo na yung mga Darvas box, yung mga mahihirap, yung mga Fibonacci, alam mo na yan. And then execution, most especially, right? Kung alam nyo na paano mga techniques, yung mga, mga ginagawa ng mga traders na paano mabilis lumabas, then you can consider yourself a swing trader. Now, this is tricky kasi ang daming ang daming ko students na nagsumasagot na Sir Lloyd, I think I'm a swing trader already because ano, um, yun yung kinagawa ko na eh. It's not because you're doing it, swing trader ka na. You base it on the result. Kamusta ang resulta ng swing trading mo? Are you consistently winning? Are you winning more than you're losing? Um, are you, ang tawag dyan, are you independent also? in your uh, in your swing trading yung hindi ka na nagtutuan nag ano hindi ka na nagde-depend sa mga recommendations ng mga tao then if you're winning and you're independent then that means you are uh, you have the TA uh, advanced TA knowledge and execution to, needed to become a swing trader if wala pa then you're not a, a swing trader in your skill factor yet right Next up is expert technical analysis and execution. Expert meaning napakabilis nyo na 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 technical analysis, even intraday. Sobrang bilis mo na. Um, tinitingnan mo yung support and resistance, intraday, Fibonacci, everyday, Darvas box, in every one minute na chart, nakikita mo na yan and you can execute the cut loss, the buy more, the sell um, in, ev in, ev any, in any given minute. Then that is when you can be an intraday trader. Now, these are two factors to consider, right? Now, how does these fact? I hope this is clear, right? I just want to make sure if may patanong ba about the factors. Uh, right, wala naman. So, yeah. So, how does these factors work, right? Paano, paano mo malalaman mong profile mo with these two factors? I just want to go full screen para mas intense, right? Because this is my lesson number one in the workshop, right? Um, the thing is, these two factors, diba tatlo-tatlo yan, tatlo sa, tia, sa time, and tatlo sa skill. Now, these two factors have to meet each other. I just want to make sure um, nakukuha ako ng camera. Yan. These two factors have to meet each other. right? Time and skill. They have to meet. For example, um, you have an intraday for your time and intraday factor then for your, ex uh, for your skills. And then, if they meet, then you can do intraday. Right? So, what if they don't meet? If they don't meet, the lower one wins. Right? Yung pinaka mababa wins. For example, ako. Right? I consider myself to have expert TA and execution. But my time factor, kasi usually busy ako in the afternoon, so I can't really watch the market full time. So, my time factor is telling me I am a swing trader. So, even if I have the skill of in an, uh, an intraday trader, since my time factor is telling me na swing ako and that's the lower one, the lower one wins. That's why I am only doing swing trading. If mapapansin nyo sa chat room, hindi ako ganun sumasagot ng full-time talaga. It's because I can't watch the market full-time. So if during those times, I'm a swing trader, I only do swing trading things. Hindi ko pipilitin mag i intraday trade. Right? Because maybe the stock is still going up. And then I need to go somewhere. And then baka bumagsak. Sa, um, baka, baka nga, I need to cut loss. Pero hindi ko makapag-cut loss. Eh di naipit na ako. Diba? So yeah. Um, also, ganito. Even if I am 
I have intraday trading skills. Whenever I have workshops, pumunta po, seminars, pumupunta ako Manila. During those week, that week, hindi, hindi ko mapapanood ang market. Right? So, during that week, what I do is, I will not buy any more, what they call this, any more uh, intraday positions. Right? Not intraday positions, even swing trading positions. I will not buy any, sw- any, any trading positions. I will respect my profile because during those times, I cannot watch the market. I am an investor. So, hindi ako bibili ng mga stocks for swing trading. Right, investor ako during those times. And if I I will be selling half at least half of my possessions na nasa swing trade kasi hindi ko mababantayan 'yan. For kung aakyat 'yan, hindi mababenta ko ba? Hindi rin naman, 'di ba? So I will not I will be selling half of my possessions and then magse-set lang ako ng alarm uh for GTC to cut my losses if I need to cut my losses. Pero if ever maliit pa naman yung position, I will exit that position. Right? I will not risk not being able to cut my losses. Pero kung umaakit na naman siya, I'm just letting half the other half ride, malayo-layo pa naman yung bottom, I'll let it ride as much as possible. And then mag-alarm lang ako. I just use watch your options. So that is how I factor, I, I, ano, I do my profiling. Lesson number one really is respect your profile. So I'm giving you 30 seconds to know your profile. And then you can tell me your profile Please be honest to yourselves. You can put it in the comments if you want. If sa mga naka-replay ng video, it's up to you. But I want you to profile yourself. I'm giving you 30 seconds. Please be honest to yourself. Right? Again, knowing yourself is very important. And if ever investor ka, if sinasabi ng profile mo is investor ka pa lang, then do investing things na muna. And then practice lang muna sa swing trades before you really want to do this swing trading. Any shortcuts will be very expensive for you because the market will tell you, investor ka lang dudong in a very expensive manner. Right? So this is very important. That's my lesson number one. So thank you. I hope you learned from that. So this is very uh, very important, especially sa mga kakapasok pa lang sa stock market. Right? So yeah, I want to go back to, uh, let's go to my picks now. That is the lesson about how to know the best stock market strategy for you. This is the general strategy, general approach lang, right? Marami pang strategy kasi dyan, yung bottom picking, ang daming strategies. Um, those are trading strategies already. Hindi yan yung gusto ko ituro today. Ang gusto ko talaga is the general approach. Um, kung trader ka, maraming type of strategies under trader. But before you become a trader, make sure you know your profile. Kung trader ba ang profile mo. Kung hindi naman trader ang profile mo, wag ka nang, uh, wag ka nang mag-trading. Please do not go, do not do trading. Right, if you don't want to lose your money, right? So let's go to my picks now. Let's go to the charts and yon. Um, let's discuss my top picks for today. Sila PHA, kamusta natin sila PHA, yung mga bodega mode na sinasabi ko, right? It's still at support, so that's the bodega area pa rin. CPG sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, that's the area to, to buy, and then just buy, just test buy, right? CPG. At CPG, yan. Um, price action wise, okay naman. Um, it's showing us higher lows right here, so that's a good sign for CPG, right? Mag magbudega pa rin kayo. MRC, yan. Si MRC, now at support. Um, there's good news kay PTNT, so mo- maybe it will be affected. And look at that. Um, it's been sustaining that support, so that's a good avenue to buy MRC. This is the dip we're waiting for. Right, mura nyan for MRC. Just buy as long as the support holds for MRC. Um, ABBA, yan. I'm still recommending ABBA. Umakit na naman siya yesterday. So, good job sa mga pumasok na kay ABBA. Just keep on accumulating, accumulating kay ABBA. This was the retracement right here. Umakit siya and then nag-retrace. So, that's a new support right there. Buy as long as MA20 holds for ABBA if you wanna trade ABBA. OR naman, si OR is sustaining that higher low support. So, that's good for OR. Still a buy for me si OR. and dami pang pwedeng mangyari kay OR. Right? SSI. SSI, look at that. Um, higher lows right there and it's stabilizing. So yeah, magbudega kayo dyan sa baba for SSI. And then CLI, CLI is showing us a sideways movement now. So that's good. Look at the support. It's already forming a support right there. So that's good for S, uh, CLI. This company is improving their uh, fundamentals. So I'm strongly recommending CLI. So walang downtrend pa siya. So you, either you be aggressive and buy the support or wait for the breakout if you wanna enter. So, but, ang gusto kong gawin nyo sa CLI is magbodega dito sa baba as much as you can. Alright, that's for CLI. 
So, picks ko today for trading. These are for position tradings. Ang daming magagandang positions. I'm just um, sharing to you the good positions I can find. Prime Mix. Mm. Look at the support. Buying is starting at higher levels. Mm. So, that's good for Prime Mix. Price action of Prime Mix is looking good. Um, next up is food. And say food support is holding strong, so that's very good for food. Yeah, and you can test by food, right? But you can test by Jan by as long as the support holds. If ever it fails, just cut your losses, right? For food, ato mga recommendations ko guys. Remember, this is for trading. So if your profile is to investing, wag yung pipilitan pumasok dito, okay? Hindi nyo pa alam paano gagawin ito, right? Just practice lang muna. If you wanna practice, then you can practice. If may oras kayo, wala pa kayong skills. And then just practice here. You can use your vir virtual funds or um bending maliit na amount lang, alright? So food. Next up is LR. Yan si LR. Price action wise, maganda ni si LR, right? So we are seeing higher lows right here. Volume is starting to pick up, so that's good for LR. Um BPI. And dami nito ngayon eh. BPI higher lows. We have uh we have. We are showing good support here kay BPI. So, by as long as the support holds, um, yun nga lang, yung inflation yung kinatatakutan natin. Yeah, uh, I want to remove BPI sa list, right? Um, shaky pa ang banks as much as possible. Let's see what will happen in the future of banks muna. But, stay away lang muna, right? ANI, um, ANI still sustained that breakout, failed the breakout yesterday. But, Within the day, nag recovered then and it went back above that breakout level. So that's still good, but as long as that breakout, that support holds. Um, so na tayo. CLC and CLC stabilizing. Just confirm the support again. Let's see if this goes green. Pag nag green yan, pwede na natin pasukin. But why am I um why am I recommending CLI? A downtrend pa yan. This is a bottom pick. Uh, this is some bottom fishing strategy, right? Again, be careful with this. This is you're working against uh, what they call this. You're working against a downtrend, but RSI is showing us a higher level, so that means the star stock is getting uh, starting to go bullish, right? But the volume is shaky, then so konti ingat lang if you want to enter CLC. Yeah, just ano, just uh, buy as long as that support holds, you can cut loss whenever you want to. Next up is SMPH. SMPH, um, we are at support levels, so this is good for SMPH. As long as that support holds, we can buy SM, right? But then again, SM is for long term, so mura pa yan for SM, right? So SMPH. Next kay SMPH is IDC, and IDC, we are at planting levels already. We have hit the support, and look at that. When it hits support, nag bounce na. So that's a confirmation of the support right there. This is the buy levels na kay IDC so it's a buy already for IDC M wide right there M wide so I'm recommending M wide now look at the volume uh, volume is getting better uh, meron pa lang dividends than sa M wide yeah speaking of dividends ang uh siguro bukas eh I'll, I'll finish the dividends bukas my dividends M wide this is one of the biggest um dividend gi giving stock right when it comes to dividends kasi um, if the company is giving out big dividends, that means the company is doing well. But regardless of if their stock is going down, this is okay with them. Because they can always buy their stock at a lower price, diba? But yeah, um, price action, look at that. We have a support right here. But look at this right here. And ito. From this point to that point, um, CRSI somehow is doing sideways na. Right? So, that's already good. Right? Kahit na pababa ang presyo, ang, sa, ang RSI niya nagme-maintain na, numakit na. So, that's a bullish uh, uh, movement for RSI kay m -wide. So, yeah, m -wide. I'll recommend m -wide. Yung nga pala, um, Clara Williams, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to my uh, channel yet, yung my YouTube channel, please subscribe to the uh, channel ko. That will also help me in return. And, yun, Semeruka, thank you. Um, pag nag-subscribe kayo, may isang zombie para sa inyo na lalabas. Alright, Semeruka, thank you for subscribing. Alright, so MWide, I'm recommending MWide today. Um, Phoenix, Petroleums, PNX. Alright, so Phoenix, Petroleums, yun. Um, this is a solid confirmation of the support. We have a support right here. 
uh, look at RSI. Um, the pressure niya bumabagsak, but RSI is going up. So, that's a bullish move right there. Uh, remember the RSI convergence choo-choo cheat sheet that I shared with you? Yan, yun yung isa sa mga bullish moves. Um, prices are going down, but RSI is going up. That's a, that's a bullish signal right there. Right? So, that's a good sign for Phoenix. Right? And then we have a confirmation right there. Ne meron tayong engulfing patterns right here. So, that's a good sign for Phoenix. So, I'm recommending Phoenix. Aljara, Aljaira, good. thank you so much for uh, the subscription. And um, one zombie for you. Ito si X. Right. I'm recommending X now. Why? There is a higher low and very good volume yesterday. That's a very good sign for X, right? That's a higher low right there. So, if ever, actually, it's a reversal of the last swing, right? So, nag-level up, nag-level, ka-level niya lang, and then bumalik lang. And then, we have a higher low right here. So, we have a support, a higher support right here. You can use this as your support, by as long as that support holds for X. That's a very good price action movement. For X, ALI, Ali. Ayan, si Ali, very solid support already. Um, support is holding on strong. RSI starting to go up. So, that's a good sign for Ali. That's a bullish uh, sideways movement kay Ali. Um, meron tayong bullish signal uh, basing on RSI. Gaming Salde, thank you so much for the subscription. Isang zombie para sa'yo. Um, asa na tayo? Um, Ali. Tugs! Ayan, si Tugs. Ayan. Guys, Tugs! Higher low na yan, right? Um, RSI starting to go up. So, that's good. Um, that's a higher low for Tugs, right? We can use Use this as our support. Hopefully, it holds. Pag nag-hold naman yan, just buy. And then, if ever, hindi naman, just cut your losses, right? This is a bearish market. It's, ito nga pala gusto kayo sasabihin sa inyo. If you're a newbie, um, I know there's a saying that says, um, if you're a trader, the best test of your skills are, what do you call this? Uh, the best test of your skills are, ano, um, tawag dyan? Is... Uh, a bearish market. Diba? So, if you're earning on a bearish market, then that means you're a good trader. But I know for sure in your in your heart, you know that hindi pa kayo magaling na traders. At that trader, John Paul, thank you for your subscription. Hindi pa kayo magaling na trader. So, bakit niyo pipilitin mag-trade sa bearish market? Diba? So, it's not really easy to trade in a bearish market. So, I will strongly recommend while the market is bearish, keep on learning, keep on learning how to trade so that when the bullish market comes you will be on you will be so much better and you can take advantage of the bullish market right so this time wag yung pipilitin mag trade just keep on learning right mag learn lang mag learn lang muna kayo right so cuz this kind of market will really ruin your confidence right so i don't want uh, this bullish market to ruin your confidence cuz a bullish market is really normal right so yeah um andun na tayo kay Tugs, SMC, SMC, yes, we have a confirmation of a support and nag break, um, pa breakout na siya actually. Actually, yung price action niya tinitingnan ko eh. Price action niya starting to go up. Meron na naman tayong dividends on December. Uh, X date is October 2, uh, ano? Ay, October 2 pala. So, wag muna. Wag muna pala ngayon si uh, SMC. I'm gonna be removing SMC. Hindi ko napansin yung dividends niya. Usually kasi pag after dividends day, uh, may mga lumalabas. So, baka magbenta yung mga tao. So, stay away muna kay SMC. Alright. So, IRC. Ito yung mga questions niyo. I'm, I'm now to questions niyo. Can guys please share the video? Please subscribe kay Nar Kinaria TV. Thank you for the subscription. Alright. Alright. <laughs> IRC, and IRC, um, buy and dips for me is I IRC. It's somehow already going up, so try to bargain. Um, lesson natin kahapon when to bargain for missed opportunities. This is a missed opportunity for IRC, so try to bargain for a bit. Kung hindi niyo masakyan and then let let it go, let it do a retracement before you wanna get in. Kasi as of the moment, this is a missed opportunity. Uh, wag na, wag niyo na habulin. Right? Dapat dito sa MA20. This is one of my lessons, di ba? Sa Boyinger Bands, where to catch it? MA20. Look at that. MA20, MA20, MA20. So, dyan niyo dapat sinasalo. CIRC, especially that it's bullish. IRC. STI. Wag niyo muna habulin sa IRC, ha? And then yun lang yung retracement or try to bargain if you really wanna get in. STI um, somehow is forming a flag pattern. Right? Uh, flag pattern ito kay STI. 
We have a flag pattern kay STI. So wait for it to break out before you want to enter STI. Right? So that's a flag pattern. Um, JFC. Um, JFC nagtatrigger pa rin sa lower Bollinger Band. So I guess uulitin na naman JFC itong ginawa niya dito last year. This was my last entry kay JFC right here. Um, after the downtrend, umakyat and nag gumawa ng double bottom. So I guess JFC is doing it again. So, antayin lang natin yung double bottom niya and then we can get in. Last year, when this happened, after the double bottom, lumipad na si JFC. Right? So, yeah. Um, antayin lang natin yung pag-reversal ni JFC and then we can enter it again. Let's see in the future. Right now, konting iwas lang muna. Um, we have a support right here. Baka dito siya mag- baka dito siya mag- mag-bottom, bottom out. But we can't really tell. RSI is still not okay. So, Yeah. I think magdo-double bottom to si JFC. Right? So, pag double bottom yan, that will be our entry point for JFC. Andre, thank you for the subscription. Um, questions, uh, FDC? FDC? Ba? Al al ako alam na FDC. Meron ba FDC? Ayun, Phil Invest pala. Ang alam ko Phil Invest kasi FLI. Eh. Hindi ko tinitingnan to si FDC. I haven't studied FDC yet. So, but yeah, um, price action wise, we are at resistance level. So, I don't want to recommend FDC. Ready? If you want to get in, and we know the fundamentals of FDC, you can always, ano, you can always, what do you call this, enter on a breakout. But again, this is a bearish market, so konting ingat muna for breakouts. Um, CHP, so CHP solid rally at the end of the market yesterday. So this was the scare, right? Nangyayari naman talaga ito. Eh. Whenever there's bad news, bumabagsak ng stock. And then there's that recovery. It's not just in local markets that this is happening. Oh, no, I want to show it to you, Tesla, right? Tesla. No, not Tesla. Tesla. Ayan, trade Tesla. Tesla. And then chart. Tignan nyo ang nangyari kay Tesla. Um, Nagka-bad news, nag-gap down, and then nag-gap up ulit. So this is how funny markets can be. This is how unpredictable markets can be. So yeah, um, this is a missed opportunity. Napakataas ng galaw ni ano, ng CHP. But yeah, this would have been a good signal already. Look at this right here. The price action uh, buying is already at a higher level compared to this one. This one formed a support. Dalawang red, but this confirmed a support. So, dal ang daming signal dito. It's just that we ignored it. We have a support signal right here. We have a confirmation of that support. That's a higher low. And it, um, yung buying is happening on a higher level kaysa support. This was a signal, right? Trading, you just bet on these signals right here. Hindi mo lang talaga alam kung yun na ba yun. But these are the signals you should be looking for. My Hero 8 thank you so much for the subscription. And then, there it is. Right, umakyat. So, these were the signals that we ignored. Pero kung if ever we were trading it, we could have seen this. And yun, um, CHP would have been a gain for us yesterday. But right now, mataas na yan. So, antay lang your retracement. If it forms a higher low, then you can enter CHP again. Next up is BDO. Right, so BDO, we are at resist resistance levels pa rin, so I don't want to recommend BDO yet. Uh, dito, pinag uh, tinitingnan natin si BDO nyan, and then we have a higher low. This is a ne next entry. We have resistance on a sideways, so this is an ascending triangle as of the moment. Entries for BDO will be a breakout. Antayin nyo lang yung breakout, especially right now na meron, andyan na naman yung... In, yung Inflation scare. So just wait for the breakout if you really wanna get in BDO. Um, tell, right? Tell, yeah. This is a reversal right here. Uh, for two solid moves for tell, but we are reaching resistance level. So I don't want you to go after that. This is a missed opportunity. Let's wait for it to retrace before we really wanna get in. Okay, tell. Baka hindi mag retrace, baka mag breakout. Kung mag breakout man yan, then just enter A. Just use a breakout strategy, at least may base kayo. Kasi pag nang, sa, sa, baka sabihin nyo sa akin, Sir Lloyd, baka mag-breakout eh. E di kung mag-breakout yan, and then, kung hindi naman mag-breakout at bumagsak, saan ang base mo? ba? Gusto mo ba mag-cut loss dyan? Mag-cut loss ka dyan eh, anytime soon. It's still, it's on a bullish movement pataas, baka mag-bounce, di ba? Problema, baka hindi mag-bounce. So, ipit ka, and that's how you become an investor 101. So, just wait for a base really, before you really wanna get in. Del Vita, next up is Vita. Very solid support for Vita. Yes, I would like you to test this support out. Yet, um, yung, what do you call this? 
Bye Slongs, that support holds for Vita. Wing Burbasalde, thank you so much for the subscription. Um, yun. Um, that's for Vita. Bye Slongs, that support holds for Vita. Um, next up sa mga request niyo is TBGI 9. Time check is 9.11, so it's okay. still okay. Uh, TBGI. Yan, so TBGI now is very bullish already. So this is a good sign for TBGI. Diba? Sabi, na, sabi ko sa inyo, may mga nagtatanong kay TBGI. Buy as long as the support holds and the market as TBGI. Somehow it's forming a resistance. I don't want you to chase that. Um, kind of a bullish, uh, bullish doji, right? So mm, I can't really say if pwede pasugin. That's a missed opportunity. Let's wait for three trades before we really wanna get in. Um, kasi problem man ito if habulin mo ito wala kang base. Eh. Look at your risk. That is nine percent away from the support. Wala kang, wala kang muna, wala kang base ngayon. Um, the, it's sitting at resistance levels though. So, siguro pwede mo itong gamitin base. Pag, pag nag-green yan, just cut loss below that line right there for TBGI. Yeah, but definitely TBGI is looking good. Um, TBGI, asa na ako? MPI, yan. One of the stocks that I am into, right? MPI starting to show support and we have a higher buy right here. So, that's this is a good sign for MPI, right? Pwede natin tingnan ito si MPI. And it's still very cheap overall naman. Yeah. So, MPI is a good buy for me. Right? Thank you, Zen, for the subscription. And, um, MPI overall is for long term for me. And dyan ako yung MPI. You've seen my port. I've, I have, um, I have MPI also. But I'm in MPI for long term. So, um, binenta ko lang muna yung kalahati dito. And then, I'm gonna be buying more using that half, um, dito sa baba for MPI. Right. So, MPI is still a buy for me. For long term, most especially. Um, hindi ko nakapansin sino yung nag-subscribe. Ano, nag, uh, nag Makikita nyo naman yung name siguro dyan. So, thank you for the subscription. Um, FGEN. Right. FGEN. Right. Uh, this is bad for FGEN for the meantime. Uh, meron naman siyang X date. Right. So, X date. Ayan. Um, 9 pa naman. So, but somehow, ang laki ng bagsak ni FGEN and it even broke the support. So, uh, iwas mo na kay FGEN for me. Right? We don't have enough data in the price action to really say if FGEN is good to get into. But definitely, FGEN is a good company to get into. Antayin lang muna natin. ISM, we talked about, have we talked about ISM? Yeah, let's talk about ISM with uh, mga 2 minutes of our time. ISM did a solid drop yesterday. Right, um, laki ng bagsak ni ISM yesterday. Um, it was a shake off. Um, yung mga speculators kay ISM naglabasan. Right, many, marami kasi pumasok tito kay ISM because they thought ISM was gonna be a third, uh, uh, participant for the third telco. I knew ISM was not gonna be participating. What I know is that ISM is doing something. I, you've, you've heard of me telling this, telling you this for many times already. I know. ISM is cooking something up and because they are getting um, they just got two investors, major investors is as Singapore and then Dennis Uy that means ISM is cooking something and I was waiting for them to announce how much money they have and they have 4 billion in their pockets now, that 4 billion is a lot, kaya niyong bayaran yung utang ni PTNT <laughs> utang ni Now, diba? So it's either they they might be going to a consortium with others to become a good tel uh, to uh they can fund a telco for not not becoming a third telco they can fund other companies for third telco but yeah and dami and dami lang pwedeng gawin they can fund a company pwedeng sila mag-invest sa isang company to become a to become a telco in their behalf right so they're at a very strategic position right naglabasan yung mga nag-speculate na si ISM baka uh, baka mag third telco so hindi siya mag third telco kaya naglabasan yung mga nag speculate but right now bumabagsak si ISM I'm still recommending ISM to buy on dips let's just wait for ISM to really show us a bounce ISM na is now a holdings that will expand their capabilities as a company di ba? so I am still into ISM I believe in the strategies of ISM right now they have a very good position very beautiful strategic position to do whatever they want so ism is very good for me still they have four billion in their pockets they can invest that that's a lot uh, that's a very big amount to invest in something yeah so ism 
Um, still a buy for me. Just wait for the bounce. Um, let's go to Mac. Right, Mac. Yun, si Mac. We starting to form a support. Si Mac. Right, that's good. This Mac. Right now, starting to form a support. RSI starting to go up. So that's good for Mac. Right, you can test buy it to sa Mac. It just buy as long as that support holds. I guess Mac has reached its bottom. Yeah. 13. So yeah, uh, this is a very good position for Mac, okay? Pwede na pasukin yan si Mac for me. Um, next up kay Mac is Now. Yan. May nagtatanong kay Now. Now is a fit. Now is, um, Now just broke its support. But yeah, Now is at a very good position to become the third telco. They're very aggressive. Um, kaso nga lang may bad news na pinapakalat ng mga tao eh. Um, dapat daw bayaran muna ni Mac yung kulang, um, yung ut, I mean, ni Now, yung utang nila kay NTC. Malaki-laki yung utang nila kay NTC. Eh. So, um, yeah. I think that was 2 billion. I'm not really sure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, um, right now, I want to see further price action kay now. Baka mag-retest na naman ng support. So, konti iwas muna kay now kasi nag-break ng support si now. Right? So, stay away from now for now. ATN. Right? Did recommend ATN here. Good job sa mga pumasok. And ayun, nagpula na sa ATN. I didn't recommend ATN anymore kasi exaggerated na yun. This is why I don't want you to chase missed opportunities. This is a missed opportunity. Wait for it to retrace. If it triggers a higher low, that's our new entry point for ATN. For now, iwas na muna. Don't worry. E, sasabihin ko naman yan kung pwede nang pumasok ulit kay ATN. LTG, I think we have reached a good bottom for LTG. I'm not really sure. Uh, can't really tell. Volume is not really good. But LTG is one of the most undervalued stocks out there. So, napaka-undervalued ni LTG. Um, position traders, you can position when this stabilizes. Makes a support. By as long as the support holds for LTG. Right? Excuse me. Um, time check, it's 9.18. Sakit na nalalamunan ko. Sorry about that. Um, 9.18... Vulcan. And si Vulcan, yan, um, nag-break ng ME20. Usually, I don't like these signals. Um, that's the best opportunity if you don't, if you did not ride Vulcan here. Just wait for a retracement at higher low. Kasi so, problema nito, baka mag head and shoulders tayo and pumula and then reversal na pala talaga yan. So, konting ingat muna kay Vulcan. I don't want to recommend Vulcan as of the moment. Um, next up kay Vulcan is food. So, food, buy stocks that support holds. And then, discuss na pala natin yan. ABG. Yan. So, ABG naman. Uh, somehow forming a support sa ABG. So, uh, let's just wait for another confirmation. If you want to test ABG, let's test out the support after a confirmation. Be safe. Um, antayin nyo muna kayo mag-green before you wanna get in. Alright. So, I'm gonna go to your comments. We still have time. We still have five minutes more. Um... Tingnan ko lang. Nakalimutan ko sino yung na, ano eh. Uh, sino yung last na nabasa ko. Was that Reggie Mon? Christian uh, Joseph. JFC Sir Lloyd. Raymar Mariano. Good morning. Uninani. De Alcaide. Manuel. Genesis Riaga. Good morning. From Singapore. Si Manuel. Um, Honey Kabigting. Yan. I think si Honey. Kellen Stagger. Uh, now, we talked about that already. Nico. Um, Ralph. Uh, Eduardo, sorry. Uh, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Okay na po yung itoro ko from Eduardo. That's good, right? Again, guys, so mga hindi marunong mag-trade talaga, discussion natin yan ngayon. If you're an investor, you can consider investing in itoro, right? You can copy trade me. Ako na bahala mag-trade para sa inyo, right? That's way, one way of investing then. JR, will PSEI go down? Yan, uh, nabasa na natin yan. Hindi ko na maalala sino yung last eh. Morning Star, watching from UAE. Good morning sa inyo, sa mga kapatid natin na sa UAE. FNI, Meg and Abba. So, let's talk about these. Ito si Jaime, hindi ko pa ito nabasa. Jaime Jr. Sir Lloyd, paki-explain naman po yung mga charges ni, sa Itoro, lalo na yung overnight fees. Overall po ba, eh, mas mura yung charges sa call? Yes! Um, overnight fees kasi. For example, depende naman yun eh. Um, for example, gold. Gold has an overnight fee of 0 0.1. 0 0.1 dollar per $1,000, uh, say yung unit niya is $1,000, right? So, if you're holding $1,000 worth, meron kang 0.1 na charges overnight. So, 0.1 in, siguro hawakan mo ng gold sa, ano, um, sa isang buwan, 
right? So that's just 0.3 dollars compared to what you're gonna be earning. So napakalit lang na overnight fees. It's really very small fees, right? So don't worry about the overnight fees unless na hahawakan yun ng tatlong tatlong taon, tatlong taon ilan magkano magkano rin yun? 360, 365. So aabot na ng 30 dollars yung overnight fees, di ba? Sa isang taon. So yun. Um, that only becomes A big issue if ever napakatagal mong hahawakan but I don't really recommend sa commodities na hawakan nyo matagal. Especially if you're a trader, hindi mo naman hahawakan isang taon yung position, di ba? So yeah, um, don't worry about ano. Actually, um, st- when it comes to stocks, if you are fond of stocks, sa eToro, yung charges nila is mas mura pa sa PSE, right? Sa stocks, both ways, buy and sell, right? I-add up mo yan, mas mura pa sa eToro ng charges, right? Morning Star, Morning Sir Lloyd watching from UAE. Benedict, Waban, Maying Buntag Sir Lloyd. Greetings from Taiwan. Proud Bisdak. Ayan, Maying Buntag sa mga Bisdak, mga kapatid natin dyan. Right. God bless our finances. Uh, God bless PSEI. <laughs> Please, PSEI, mag-reverse ka na. Right. Uh, Jasmine Maranan, good morning sir. Pag-greet po sa husband ko, Rio Maranan. He'll be listening later regarding IDC po. Thanks. Yes, IDC is already a buy for me. Christopher Litiat ko coach DMC and EW po. Ay, may may na-miss ako kanina. Uh from UAE si FNI daw. Si FNI, let's check out FNI. Uh FNI, yeah. Still on a down trend si FNI for me. So stay away lang muna kay FNI. They really don't like the movement of FNI. Tindi ng down trend ni FNI. Meg. Yan si Meg. Uy. We have a retracement kay Meg. Baka ito ni retracement kay Meg. Check out the price action today. Pag nag-green yan si Meg, pwede niyang pasukin yan. Right? So, napakamura pa ni Meg as of the moment. Uh, so, that's it for Meg. ABBA, we talked about ABBA. Just keep on buying on the dips. Uh, asa na ako? CLC. We talked about CLC already. Um, good morning, sir. From Lawrence Basilio. Sir Wilcon po and MPI. We talked about them already. Christopher Latyako, MBT. Uy, MBT is, has one of the good movements right now. Right. Gusto ko sana i-recommend si MBT rin kanina. Kaso nga lang, um, yung inflation eh. The scare of the inflation might bring, might pull this, ano, might, might pull the stock down again. So, konti ingat muna sa banks ngayon. But definitely, price action of MBT is looking good. Dana Lucero, Dana Lucero good morning, Sir Lloyd. May niluluto pa ba si ISM? Sir, should we hold on or buy more on dips? It really depends. Um, For me, because I'm an investor, I believe in the uh, of I believe in what ISM will be doing. Their position is very good right now, so I'm an investor in ISM. So hindi ako nagblagay ng malaking pera mo na kay ISM. Nagtest buy lang ako so that I can buy more on the ano, on the what they call this on the uh, on the dips, right? Um, if I were you, yes, I will share my my insights. It's really up to you. Um, if the If the uh, if the problem right now is ISM's movement is scaring you, baka bumagsak na bumagsak, lumabas ka na lang muna and then just wait for the reversal before you wanna get in. That will be a wiser strategy, right? Kung bumula pa ngayon si ISM, especially sa mga, yung mga shaky pa na mga kamay na hindi talaga, uh, not really that uh, confident in getting into the stock yet, right? So yeah, you can do that. Um... It's already 9.25. I'm really sorry if hindi ko masasagot lahat ng questions. But I hope you learned a lot today. Bukas, I'm gonna be thinking of another topic we can talk about bukas. But yeah, these are the lessons that you can learn in my workshop. So please join my workshop. It's it's inexpensive. But in return, ang dami nyo matututunan. It, it will be very priceless. Uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, check out the testimonials of the students that I have in my Facebook page. And dun sa ratings. Right? Next, uh, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, 9 in the morning, October 14 in Bacolod, October 20 in Manila. See you there, right? So that's it for today. Hopefully, the market is gonna be looking good today. We can't really tell, but we can only hope. Again, see you tomorrow. Let's get rich together. Bye-bye, everyone.